Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. And we're back in the studio. Lovely studio to record this video. Always nice to have a good backdrop in it. Uh, now before we get talking about the video, absolutely brilliant support guys over the last few days or so on the channel. It's likes, you're smashing it. I've set 100 like goals and you're smashing it. You're absolutely smashing it. Wow, I've never b believed that we'd get that. First video, I think on Monday we got over 200. Today's, uh, yesterday's video is going on over 100. Absolutely fantastic. Not Still not going to push the ball out, but I would really like, again, 100 likes on this video if you could please. It would really mean a great deal. It means so much. Helps the channel grow. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Because, uh, yeah, we want you to be part of the Tax TV community. Uh, so yeah, there we go. And also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. Especially with the January transfer window coming to a close, you want to keep your eyes peeled on any players in or out of Oakwell uh, in the next few days. We've got till Friday. Friday's deadline day. Whew. Right, well, I've not seen any rumours coming out or, uh, of Oakwell regarding players coming into the club. However, today we have seen on social media from Andy Giddings himself that there is uh, three clubs looking at, or at least monitoring, Jacob Brown. Now, what that also states is it does look as though it will more than likely be in the summer when anything, if anything does necessarily happen, but that doesn't necessarily mean it won't either. Uh, one of them, I think, has been confirmed as Brentford who sit fifth in the championship. Now, Jacob Brown for us has been, uh, I would say, quite an important player. Uh, and we've, we've talked about him. We did his own little video on how much he's come on as a player, developed as a player, that sort of thing. Uh, now, he's been linked away uh, from Oakwell, which uh, at this stage of the window, you know, I, I, I'm all for, I don't think we need, we need, even need to, uh, sell. There's rumours going around that we've put a big price tag on him, so that that's going to be good to see a big price tag because he's still under contract. He's got two years left. Um, I think he's, it's vital that the players that are here we keep, especially the ones like Jacob Brown, who has got eight assists to his name. He's only got the two goals, but he's got eight assists, and all them assists have been in important games and. That should ultimately continue, you know, his work rate as well, on and off the ball. That shows how much of a vital player he's been for us. So, I can't under, for under I don't, I would not go down the road of selling Jacob Brown. It's something that would go, you've got to look at possibly in the summer now, not January, especially with three days left or two and a half, whatever you want to say, that's left of the window. So, uh, it's a big, big fat no from me. Um, especially when there's no players rumoured to... We don't know, obviously, but usually, you see, I mean, we saw with Michael Solbauer, the rumours were coming round and round, flirting round. Now, it's Wednesday, you know, there's nothing actually genuine I've seen online or anything. Or, or maybe it's somebody from the French second division, which I read about, but I don't know too much about that. Um, so, very, very... Um, I mean, for for Jacob Brown, I can understand why clubs are looking at him. You know, big um, been a big player for us this season in a struggling team. That's what teams look at. They look at the best players. You know, we've we I'm still we've still got to be fortunate that Collie Woodrow and Alex Mowat are still here. You know, they've been the two ones who we were praying that the club keep hold of. And um, there's yeah, there's we've got a couple of days left now. We've got a hold on a bit longer and uh, the the January transfer window will be over um i hope that yeah there's no there's no more outgoings other than players that aren't getting a game that is the only thing that can uh can happen really for me players who aren't getting a game they go out on loan they get game time or at least, or maybe even sell them so they get games um because they're not playing, they need, and get them off the wage bill, that sort of thing. Yeah, that that's my take on that. But for me, you, I, I, Jacob Brown going um, would leave a massive uh, massive hole, I believe, because he is versatile as well. We can't just 
look at the fact that he's playing up front, he can operate a few areas of the football pitch. So it's that versatility as well that uh, is also key and something that we need to keep hold of. So my, my, my thoughts on that is, obviously the tweet does say more than likely in the summer, so let's hope that that's the case where we can discuss it a bit further, a bit better in the summer. The summer transfer window is always better than January um, and I would keep Jacob Brown at the football club definitely for this survival uh, running because we've got to. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. No player who is in that starting eleven who are going to be key players can leave this football club at all. So my take on that, guys. Yes, Um I'm still working on the 5K special, guys. Do not worry about that. It will come at some point. There just seems to be uh, something to talk about every day. But one thing I am trying to do on the channel is upload regular, upload daily. I know it is hard sometimes when there's not much, necessarily much news to come out of Oakwell um, and stuff like that. But I want to try and upload daily just so I can keep interacting with you guys. Keep you know, keep you happy. I know you enjoy the vids and everything like that. Well, at least I hope you do. I hope you enjoy. Try my best here, man. Um, but it's clear to see, you know, how so many people enjoy it and, and it's lovely to see. So hopefully, you know, we end this tran January transfer window. No no players from that from the, t the first team going and uh, we need to bring some more in still. We need to. I really do hope that that's what we're doing. I keep backing the club up saying every I've got every faith that they will. So, I don't want them to let me down. Please. <laughs> Please. Um, anyways, match preview tomorrow. Big, 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 match preview. Sorry about that. It is massive. It's a massive match preview tomorrow, guys. 100% a huge match preview. Charlton away on Saturday. Charlton is one of my favourite away days as well. So, and... The match being so vital makes it even more um, exciting to talk about. So I've got Craig uh, on standby. Craig's coming uh, for that. And uh, I've got ho hopefully Luke coming uh, to speak about the... Um, go on. De deadline day. That'll be a deadline day video. So that that again, looking forward to that. So lots of plans, lots of videos taking place. And yes, thank you for watching, guys. Remember, we've hit the with 100 likes. That's the target again. I'm sure you'll absolutely smash that, but I just don't want to push Boat out. And uh, subscribe if you're not already, because this channel, honestly, I can't believe the growth in the last few weeks. It's been huge. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. And I will, I promise you, on my heart, that the 5K special will come at some point. I really, really do. All the best, guys. Leave your comments in the uh, comment section below. And I will see you tomorrow for the match preview. You Reds. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe to Tykes TV. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. And we'll see you in the next one. You Reds.